Have you guys ever done that? Do you know what happens? Mm. When you keep a freaking piece of gum in your mouth the entire day. So I have your canary melon clean Greek yogurt. Oh, it's cute. A little mix. Here. Yeah, that's her. I would also put honey, but I'm trying to like mm, cut down. Yeah, this is our spoon we'll be using. What I'm going to be eating. Um, yeah, so here's the thing like, back in the days, like my dating days, I, I don't know, I had this thing where like I could not eat in front of whoever I was dating and I think like a lot of girls deal with that like I would get embarrassed and here I am eating in front of like hopefully millions of people but yeah back in the day I was like if I eat in front of a guy like especially obviously a guy like I had the hots for um I would think like he thinks I'm a pig or I would look messy or I would just like suddenly not fit into my jeans that day or I don't know, like it just wasn't feminine to eat. Um, that was like what went on in my crazy mind. But um, yeah, so I just thought I'd preface that. <laughs> so anyway, I was on a date with a guy and um, yeah, I really, really liked him. Mm. Um. Like I said, like, even we would go out to eat, I wouldn't order anything. Like, it was drinks. I would just get a drink, like a Diet Coke. Sometimes I get, like, a hot chocolate. Like, that was, like, the biggest kind of meal I would get. Um, but for the rest of the day, I would just chew gum. Like, that was, that was me. Mm. So... I don't know what in the world happened, but you know, and the guys would always be like, why don't you eat? Oh my God. And I would just be like, oh, I'm just not hungry. Like, yeah, I'm just naturally, I just naturally look like this. I don't starve myself. Um, hold on, let me get my iced coffee. Little flavor. Yeah. So, um, so the whole day, like we went to this outside mall and we really spent the whole day gum because obviously if I didn't eat if I didn't eat you know let's just say my breath holy cow yeah <laughs> that wouldn't be good either you know um so I had this piece of gum in my mouth the entire day. Have you guys ever done that? Do you know what happens mm. when you keep a freaking piece of gum in your mouth the entire day? Try it and don't eat anything. Just try to just chew on a piece of gum. I don't know. Maybe it's just like my chemistry and like the freaking gum melted in my mouth. I'm not joking. Mm. into liquid okay like legit it liquefied and i don't know what to do <laughs> i think i was like 15 and really i was like oh my god like i couldn't even talk because it was like imagine talking with liquid in your mouth you can't <sighs> it was the most embarrassing thing ever like ever so I started laughing. I just couldn't contain myself, and literally, I, I just like this gooey liquid was. Guys, I know you're probably like TMI. We don't know, mm, but that was such an embarrassing day. Like, no joke. Oh my god, and that was it for me. Like, I made sure. I didn't stop chewing gum, but 
I made sure that um, I always had like extra pieces handy. So yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things like you had to be there. But if you're curious, we did go on another date after that. Like <laughs> we ended up being my boyfriend regardless. So, but that was like so embarrassing. Um, yeah. So I actually have another story. I was on a date. It gets good. Okay. Cause like, I think at this point I was a little older and, um, I actually decided to order something I've, because now I was getting taken to like more fancier restaurants and more upscale you're dating older guys they actually have some money and um i couldn't just order a drink like that would have been embarrassing in itself like what's wrong with you why aren't you eating kind of thing like i knew we were going to fancy restaurant so in my mind i was like shoot what am i gonna order like i don't want to like look like how i look right now like things just coming out of my mouth and slobbering over things you guys can obviously tell I'm over that stage, but um, <laughs> in my mind, I was like, oh, perfect. Mm -mm. Salad's not going to work because like I have lettuce like falling out of my mouth and, you know, I have dressing and I'll, you know, the, the pieces of lettuce will be like way too big to fit in. Like, yeah, a lot went through my mind. So I'm like, perfect. Okay, I'll order meatballs. Like, they'll probably be like a little more tender. I can just, you know, cut a little piece off with my fork and um, eat it. And it'll be nice and neat and it's protein, so I won't feel like too bloated after. Like, literally, all these things went through my mind from the time we got the menus to the time the waiter came to take our order. Like, really, oh my gosh. So, anyway. Mm. so i get my meatballs and the guy's like you want meatball <laughs> okay i just want to preface this part with this guy i'm gonna be my husband my love my life so yeah i'm like yeah what's wrong <laughs> what's wrong with meatballs right <laughs> Well, yeah, let's just say I never really got to taste it for them because I stuck. I was so nervous, okay? That's when you know you really, really like the guy because if you don't like your date, let's say, um, yeah, or at least for myself, I'll speak for myself. Like if I wasn't into my date, I, I wouldn't be nervous. It would just be like right now, you know? I mean, I love you guys, but not like that, obviously. Anyway, um, yeah, like if I wasn't into my day, I, I would just be like, ah. <laughs> anyway, I got the meatball on my fork and literally my hand was shaking. I flung it across the restaurant. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating at all. I flung it. Um, for my husband, the guy who's my husband right now, my husband was like, what the <laughs> I think that's when he knew I was the one for all. <laughs> Guys, I am like, so hyper. But that was a crazy, crazy day. That was like something we'll never stop talking about it was just like too funny um after that i was like look i'm just not eating anymore <laughs> but yeah that was funny <laughs> that's my drink so um, there was another time i gotta tell you guys about I tried a Chobani creamer today. It was like vanilla. Mm. 
really good. Anyway, so then there was this other date I was on, okay? Like, I like the guy, but I wasn't so attracted to him. You know what I mean? Like, mm, I thought like he was, he would be good like long term, but I wasn't so embarrassed to aim for him. Like, mm, there's a part two to that. There's a part two to this specific guy. It's really funny too. Um, but I'll tell you about this part when we're in a restaurant and um, we're eating and I could feel like something was off with my clothes. I was wearing a skirt and it was like see-through. So I had a slip on. Yeah. By the way, this is just so much fun. And I want you guys to tell me, like, tell me in the comments about your funniest moments on your dates. But, um, I'd love to hear about it. So, I, um, I knew something was off, like, I don't know, something didn't feel right. Like, I had the slip on under that skirt. So anyways, as we were leaving, I'm starting to stand and I realized that my freaking slip is at my ankles. Like, it was so embarrassing. Um, <sighs> I stood up and had to grab my slip and pull it all the way up in the middle of the restaurant. Like, imagine watching this happen to some other lady. It was pretty funny. And my date was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, my slip just fell off. <laughs> I think he was kind of turned on like that, but um, it was pretty funny. But anyway, so like I said, like, just last story with this guy. I just have to tell you guys this because I just remembered. I need some more of this Greek yogurt because the granola is making it a little dry. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I was not attracted to this guy, okay? Like, he was just not my type. And we met online, which, I mean, that's the way the world functions today, you know? Like, I literally met him online. And um, when I saw him in person, I was like, mm, like, I'm going to be stuck with you for the whole weekend. He flew out to me. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. So anyway, Sunday he was going back. Like he came for the weekend. And I was actually a Seinfeld about the same exact thing. I could not wait to get him to the airport. I was like, like, let's say his flight was at 10 at like six o'clock. I was like, you gotta go. Like, you gotta go. You're gonna miss your flight. You're gonna this, you're gonna that. I was like, we gotta go. There's gonna be traffic. And this happened to Elaine on Seinfeld. Oh my gosh. He's dating that guy. What's his name? I'll have to find his name and post it. I think he played in the B movie also. But um, she was dating him and she wanted him to get back and like so many times she attempted to get him back to the airport <laughs> and she, every time that he would miss his flight so she was stuck with him for another day and like she'd figure out every day like a different route like how to make sure that the dude would not miss his flight that's how i felt with this guy i was like oh my god i was like if he misses his flight i will freak out because i'll be stuck with him again um <laughs> But he's like, he was like, why are you in such a rush? <laughs> he was like, what, do you want to get rid of me or something? And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, I just don't want you to miss your flight. Oh my God. And we ended up like, so early in the airport he's like maybe i should pick up some food on the way and i'm like they have food at the airport what, what do you mean like he's like yeah but 
maybe I want something specific and I'm like oh my gosh how in the world am I gonna get rid of this guy so even stopping for food you know stop food gas whatever like as slow as this guy was moving mm. and he's also like I promised my nephew and nieces I'd stop at Toys R Us and get him something from here and I'm like what we even stopped at Toys R Us I remember this I was like oh my god he was gonna try anything and everything to stall leaving and it's like you know I mean I felt bad really like in hindsight like looking back I'm just like oh, I didn't have to be that mean just because I like wasn't attracted to him but I think back then I was a little bit more snobby I mean anyone who knows me will say yes I was very snobby but um yeah I, I think it would have been different if I were older and you know but I just uh-uh at that moment I was like get away from me I just felt like I couldn't abandon him because we bought tickets to fly out or just to see me and meet me so I kind of felt obligated you know but yeah that countdown to his flight leaving mm, mm, it was so stressful but once I actually got him out of the door of my car and his luggage just right there I was like gassing it right out of there I know don't call me mean but it's just what it was like I mean that's just what it was yeah so mm, those were the good days those were fun times really I really were so anyway mm, this turned out to be really nice really delicious mmm you guys enjoyed this video and um yeah if you ever want to like grab breakfast and feel like you're eating with me hop right on like click on the video take out your food and pretend we're sitting across from each other i would so love that love, 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 love that and um yeah i'm just gonna finish this up and i will see you all real real soon bye